Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Beery Thinker. Today, we are going to integrate Tile Device Tracker. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Integration with the Tile is pretty straightforward, and I presume that you already have installed and configured your Tile on the mobile phone. If you still haven't installed and configured a tile, here is a quick video guide on how to do that. We'll continue shortly. Ok, now that I've got my tile configured, let's configure integration inside Home Assistant. Integration is pretty straightforward and we just have to add a couple of lines to our configuration YAML file or devices tracker YAML depending on your setup. Let's go to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, let's search for device. And I'm not using external device tracker YAML file. Let me check what the other one is. Okay, nothing. If you want to move your device trackers to separate file, it's easy. You just add device tracker and you configure it same as we did here. So it would be device tracker include device tracker YAML. This is the way we would include the device tracker file if we want to use external file to list only our device trackers. But I will be just adding it here. Let's go and find our device tracker, Tado, that we already have configured. Let's add new line, comment, tile tracker. And here we just have to enter three lines. First line will be platform definition, where we are defining integration with the tile integration. And next two lines will be username and password used to log in to our application or web service. This is the same username and password you are using in your mobile phone. Platform, tile, Username, I will be once again using secrets file, secret tile user and password secret tile pass. So now we have tile configured, we have platform definition tile, we have username that will be uh, mapped to our secrets file and we have password that is also mapped inside our secrets file. Username will be tile underscore user and password will be tile underscore pass. Don't forget to add this to your secrets file. 
After you've added, let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration, and let's restart if there are no errors. And our Home Assistant is back online. Let's go to Developer Tools, States, and let's see if Tile is available. And we here have two device trackers. One is Tile with the number, hexadecimal number. This is the Tile itself. And the other one that you can see here with the letter P, this one is for the phone. So we can track both uh, Tile itself and the phone that has that Tile registered to itself. Let's go to Overview. Let's go to Map. And here on the map, besides the earthquake we had a couple of days ago, a smaller one, we have a location of the Tile device. And this device is my phone because it has small letter P in front of the number. Let's go to Overview. Let's go to Fun Stuff. Let's configure UI and press plus sign. And what we can do here, we can here add Tile. Let's remove this, let's remove this, and let's add this tile here. Let's press save. And we now have here information about our tile. You can click on it and get the detailed information on where it is, what's the status, is it connected, disconnected, etc. Believe it or not, this is it for this integration of the Tile. Unfortunately, I'm unable to tell you why would you use Tile for device tracker, because this is hacked integration, meaning that Tile doesn't provide API for developers. This API was reverse engineered by a community member, and it allows you to pull the information, but unfortunately you cannot trigger anything. You cannot trigger alarm on the tile, you cannot trigger device lost or any other functionality that you can do from the mobile app. Also, in terms of accuracy, I've read a lot of posts on the internet in regard to the accuracy of this integration inside Home Assistant. If you want to do any kind of automation on it, I wouldn't do it. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes it can take not just 10, 30 minutes, but a couple of hours for the data to be updated for this integration. It depends on the status of the mobile phone, on the connection between Tile and the mobile phone, etc. So using this device for any kind of integration, I really do not know for what I would use it. You will be better off by using Home Assistant application on your Android or iOS phone and the device tracker inside those applications is much more accurate. But on the other hand, if you lose keys in the woods and if then by a chance somebody who also has Tile application installed goes to the same location where you lost your keys, you would maybe get notification or information inside your Home Assistant eventually, one day. If you have any suggestion on why to use Tile on, or how to use Tile inside Home Assistant, I would definitely like to hear you. Please drop me a line in a Discord or here in the comment section. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.